Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca and I'm a reference librarian at Leiden College and I want to talk to you about plagiarism and unintended plagiarism, unintentional plagiarism. Now plagiarism is when someone takes the work of someone else and passes it off as their own. So if you're writing a paper and you're reading an article and you'd like a sentence in that article and you copy it and paste it onto your paper without acknowledging that uh, author, then you are plagiarizing. And plagiarism in Lehman College and CUNY has some academic consequences. Okay, And to reduce that, what you would do is that you would cite the source that you're getting the information from, whether it's from a book or an article, a report, you just need to cite it. Okay, and that means that you have to recognize uh, where it's coming from. You tell us who the author is, the, the title, when it was published, and so on. Okay, so there's two types of plagiarism. There's that um, purposeful or intentional plagiarism, and that's when someone copies something on purpose. They know they're not supposed to do it, but they do it anyway. Um, they're hoping they're not going to get caught or the, or the professor isn't going to recognize or see or know that that information has been plagiarized and that they've copied and pasted that into their paper. Okay, then there's the unintentional plagiarism and I think that a lot of uh, people, a lot of college students experience that and the reason is because they're not, they're not doing it on purpose, they just don't know what plagiarism is and they, they haven't planned to do it. And what happens is that what you need to do is that you need to cite it. And when you're citing someone, you're acknowledging that they created this work, that they wrote this information, okay? So I just want to show you, sorry about that. Um, let's say you're using this article, okay? And you're looking at this article, The Hidden American Immigration, uh, immigration consensus, a conjoint analysis of attitudes toward immigrants. Okay, you'd like this article. You're looking at the abstract, which is a summary of the article. And you know, many American, many studies have examined Americans' immigration attitudes. Okay, keep reading, and then you say, oh, beneath partisan uh, divisions over immigration lies a broad consensus about who should be admitted to the country. So let's say this sentence you really like. You copy it and you paste it onto your Word document, but then you never acknowledge that you got it from this article. Okay, that counts as plagiarism. And once you know that, you cite the information and then you'll be okay. Okay, and you're gonna cite the information in your paper by creating a, an in-text citation or a parenthetical citation and a citation at the end of the paper. And whatever citation format your professor asks you to write, to use, that's how you'll cite this paper. But we'll talk about that at another, um, in another uh, video. So I hope this kind of helps just, you know, uh, tell you what that's about. And if you need more information, the library has a plagiarism libguide. That'll be very helpful. Um, and I'll put the URL there for your research. Okay, I hope this helps, and I'll talk to you soon.